Really sad news today. Uh, the voice actor and actor Lance Reddick has sadly passed away at the age of 60. Uh, for me, I, I've been playing Destiny 2 for about just under a decade. You know, I've been playing since the Alpha and of D1 and Commander Zavala, uh, who Lance plays in the game, uh, has been a constant. He's always been there and I was always so, I, I guess, just happy with his performances overall. I think every single performance he gave in game was just brilliant. And then you also had the fact that, you know, he was also really popular with the community. He had loads of memes. Like, I'd often, when I was playing with my friends, quote some of his voice lines, like the uh, the D1 strike, you know, where you're going to Mars. And um, it's just th those sort of things, really, that will, will stick with me for Lance. And he's also in other projects as well. He was in uh, Horizon Forbidden West and Zero Dawn. I thought he gave a terrific performance in both games. And especially in uh, Zero Dawn, I think his performance in that game was brilliant. And uh, if you guys have watched uh, Vox Machina, also on, um, which is like a series on Amazon Prime by uh, Critical Role, he also voices uh, one of the main antagonists, one of the dragons in that as well. I've been watching. So uh, he's also, if, if you guys have, you know, more sort of mainstream entertainment, he was in The Wire, uh, John Wick, and just loads of other stuff, really. And he will definitely be missed. I just can't believe, really, that this is. I'm having to make this video. I, I, I'm really shocked that he's passed away, and it's uh, it's definitely. I hope uh, you know he's got family and friends that he's leaving behind, and my condolences go out to them. Um, if you guys are like one of those people online, I would say sort of leave them alone on social media, give them time, give them space, and uh, just as a little message, really, off me. Um, thank you Lance for everything, thank you for entertaining me for sort of nine, nine and a half years really and um, I'm hoping that he's up there somewhere in comfort knowing that his legacy is essentially immortalised in, you know, Destiny, Horizon and movies and entertainment and TV as well and he is one of the best voice actors I can name in the industry. I mean, he he was in he's definitely in one of my top three. That are up there with like Keith David's and uh, Nolan North, and I I genuinely think he is an amazing actor. And it's really sad to see him pass. And uh, one little thing that I'd also like to bring up that sort of uh, really touched me this morning is when I logged into Destiny Two. I actually saw players in the tower. I saw like 20, 30 players holding a sort of vigil. For him, which I think is more proof of the impact that he had both on Destiny fans, gamers, and just people in general. He was, uh, from what I could tell, at least I, I never met him in person or anything, but a lovely person, a uh, great character, and it was just really nice. I mean, when I logged into the tower this morning, I've got gameplay on the screen now of it, and uh, yeah, I, got a, I actually saw people, you know, kneeling, saluting, putting down flowers for him in game, which I thought was lovely, and. Um, just as one little last message because I probably rambled on for long enough but uh, thank you Lance for everything and uh, thank you for everything that you've done and I hope one day to uh, see you star side commander goodbye